It has been amazing to have met Pius. And he has really inspired me through his talk on uh, investing with the purpose. The right way with him today taught me two things. Wealth creation is an art. It has so little to do with money and so much to do with uh, people. The things I hear do pious, I've never had them anywhere else. I'd love to meet him again. So, now I realize, with every child that comes, kuna investment how much? And I start looking for 8 million. But that money is not going. That money is just to safeguard. We are safeguarding our family. We are safeguarding our family. One of our, one of our colleagues who passed on in 2006 left some benefits and we designed a trust for his kids, two kids. One was in nursery, the other was, one was in standard, standard four. All of them have now finished school. The elder one has even interned at our office for two years and is running their own business. They have never touched the money that their father left behind. In fact, it is more. It is as if he is still alive. So this security portfolio is not just to safeguard you now. If something happens to us, it assures our children can still do what? Go to school. And that's when it clicked in my head. Why do this for people when they die? Do it for people when they are still alive. So security portfolio is very key. One of the sub security portfolios is what? Investment plan and uh, education uh, portfolio. Another one is medical emergency. And another big disruptor of life is called home ownership. Home ownership. How many people here have tried to look for land in Nairobi to build? It is super expensive. You have not even begun building. So by the time you build, we are talking of a lot of money. So Many people now, what happens is that you have, uh, you have, you have kid, children in, in, uh, who are in school, you're paying a lot of money, and then you enter into a mortgage arrangement, which is going to last 25 years. By the time you are 55 years or 60 years where, you, where you're retiring, that's when you're finishing your mortgage, that's when kids are finishing uh, school, and guess what? Have you heard people say, I used to pay school fees. Now I don't pay school fees. Where did the money go? Have you ever heard that thing? By our parents. It's because you use your most, uh, your, 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 the bulk of your resources at the prime of your life to take care of these big disruptors of life. So you are left empty. As much as you do not want to depend on your children, by the time you're done, you're exhausted, you're tired, and then you have no more earning power. Now you have only one choice. Your retirement plan becomes your children. It is not because you chose, but there is a better way of doing this. So education and home ownership tend to absorb the bulk of our financial resources at the prime of our lives. Majority of the folks retire because they spend almost their entire lives paying school fees and extinguishing a long-term loan mortgage. A security portfolio, therefore, is designed, designed to fund all your education and home ownership projects as well as medical emergencies that may arise. It safeguards us from dipping our fingers into the lifestyle portfolio, especially in times of emergencies, especially in times of emergencies. So 
the security portfolio is like you're building a fence around your lifestyle portfolio. You, you do not want anything to come and you touch that. Okay? So that's what a security portfolio does. Now, this is the interesting bit. I personally believe, and this is my opinion, and I strong, I'm very convicted of this very personal opinion. If you have a lifestyle portfolio, and you have a security portfolio, or portfolios, you have achieved true financial freedom. Because from this point henceforth, you can do what you love to do every single day of the year. Every single day of the year. And it applies to all of us as professionals in all our giftings, in all our giftings. I went to speak somewhere in a, in a church congregation and one of the pastors grabbed my hand at the end of at the end of our presentation, and he told me, Pius, we need this for our pastors. Because when our pastors are hungry and they have these pressing needs, when they go to preach, they are also thinking, how will that offering look like? So it is corrupting our message. It is corrupting our good intentions. So if you can do this for us, we can allow our pastors to be able to live their purpose as pure as they can. So that's the thing. How can I be standing here in front of you as, 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 as spires and I am ministering to you expecting nothing because that's the that's the thing what we are called to do by god is something that doesn't we can do for free i always say i can work for nabo for free so it's the same thing waiter doctor imagine you see what is happening with our with our doctors right now we are struggling with paying our our locums so now you can see it's taking us away from our purpose. So security portfolio. True financial freedom is achieved when you have a lifestyle portfolio and a what? Security portfolio. And it does not matter whether you are a billionaire or you live in the slums. When you come to me, I'll ask you, do you have a security portfolio? Do you have a lifestyle portfolio? If you don't have one, we'll design one. Because everybody must eat. <laughs> Everybody must clothe. Then we go to the third one, aspirational portfolio. A very wise man said, life begins at? Life begins at? Life be begins at what? At 40. Up until then you're just figuring it out. Up until then, you're just figuring it out. It's, it's like we take 40 years to figure out our lives. But at 40, this is when things start clicking. But for me, with hindsight, I perceive if you, have, if you are very disciplined in building these two portfolios, most likely it will take you up to around 40 years because it involves a lot of sacrifice. It means you live below your means. It means you need to go, you need to live in a neighborhood that is a little below what you could afford. It means you need to spend less than, than, than you can. It means you need to take your kids to a school that is slightly below what you can afford. Because what you're doing is that you're building that headroom so that you can pay yourself first and then you can be able to start building these portfolios that you're talking about. But if you're living to the limit of your income, guess what? 
you will have knowledge, but you will not be able to implement. So there is a lot of sacrifice. And my, my, my intuition tells me this quote, if I use it in a, this particular situation, at around 40, and we can call it because we are not exactly the same in terms of discipline, between 40 and 50 is when you really figure things out. What are the most essential things in, uh, in, my, in, 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 uh, in, in my life? So, it is here when you have achieved true financial freedom that you begin to reap the words of financial freedom. An aspirational portfolio is about enjoying your life. Enjoying your life. Enjoying your life. You start upgrading. You start upgrading your life. I really believe in that scripture that says that he came to give us life and have life in abundance. How do you have life in abundance? It does not mean you just skip the process. You need to go through the, the process. So it is where here now you say, you know what, I was driving, I've, I've, I've been driving a Toyota until I am 40. Now I am financially free. Now I want to upgrade to what? What do you guys want? Sports Range Rover. <laughs> yeah. You've been living in Islands, you move from Islands, you go to? Yeah? The green leafy suburbs. Isn't it? Eh? You move, you have one home, you buy a second, a second home. It's when you start really upgrading your life. But you can see it is done very deliberately. I remember one of, one, one of our customers uh, surprised me. He said, Pius, I don't like driving an old car. So I, he was buying a Range Rover. He said, I want you to put a plan for me that every five years I sell this one and I, I top up and I buy. And if you're doing it for me, also do it for my wife. Is that, uh, he doesn't have a loose nut somewhere. Eh? He is very purposeful. He's very purposeful. So there is not a thing that then you cannot, be, you cannot achieve if you are following this process. So at this point in time, you upgrade your life. But there is something else that will strike you at this point in time as you're doing aspirational portfolio. You suddenly realize that life is not just about you. Life is also about the impact we have on other people. And it has the other part of this aspirational portfolio is that you now start fulfilling that desire to have impact in the society. And we call it a philanthropic uh, portfolio. Uh, comes alongside that aspirational portfolio. So we have uh, like one, again, another customer who came and said, Paz, I have... I have no problem with retirement. I have a home. All these things from lifestyle are covered. Security is covered. What really I would want to do and what really touches my life is young people who have ideas, brilliant ideas, but they don't have funding. So this client said, put together for me a portfolio that we can grow to a million dollars. And that portfolio, will use it, the, the returns that come from that portfolio, will use it to fund young people with ideas. And she said, I know that eight out of 10 will be a loss, but those two that will succeed are really the reason why I want to do this. But you see, do they lose their one million dollars? Very intentional, very, very intentional. So that's the other part of this aspirational portfolio. So you begin to enjoy life. You, you, you live your purpose. You live, you, you say, where God did you call me here? 
if you call me here for those young people who have ideas, but they have no one to believe in them, then you become their source of redemption. So, why are you here? Ask your neighbor, why are you here? Because it's not all about you. <laughs> so, what are the three portfolios? Lifestyle, security, aspiration. What does lifestyle do? Hey, we need a roving mic. I can hear a song. <laughs> so, those are the three portfolios I really believe we not only increase your income, but you'll have a purpose for increasing your income. There is no need of increasing income if you have no purpose. And this is what we call in Abo Capital investing with purpose. Invest with purpose. So the first purpose is to make sure you seal the floor for your family. Your family should never go below a certain point. The second purpose is to make sure that you take care of the big disruptors of life so that you are not swept by the wind. And the third one is to make sure that you live life full of abundance. Not just for yourself, but also for others. So those are the three portfolios. And there is a lot more that you can share. But what I will ask all of you to do today as a call to action is to sign up for the class the advanced income class that is beginning. If you want to continue with this conversation, sign up for that class. In closing, I'm inspired by this scripture, James 1.22. It says, but be doers of, but be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. We must be doers of the word. So all of you have listened to me. Now will you be doers of the word? Let's be doers of the word. Thank you very much.